Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Zakir. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hanif. I study aviation studies. And as we know that, atheists is always trying to question every religious people in every religion. As we know that, atheists is always trying to question every religious people in every religion, right? And we as a believer trust God is at this in our life. But if an atheist uh, come to me by face to face and ask me, how can you tell me the importance of having God in our life as we can handle this life just by our, by our own mind and our own way of life? Sorry, it, brother, I cannot understand your question. You're, you're reading down. The atheist will ask you what question? Uh, if a atheist come to me face to face and ask me, how can you tell me the importance of having God in our life as we can handle this life just by our can own... You, can you tell me the importance of having God? Yes. Having God in your life? Yeah. If an atheist come to me and ask me, how can you tell me the importance of having God in our life as we can handle this life just by our own mind and our own way of life with our own power, not by uh, the God power. Very good question. Simple question, very easy. If atheist comes and tells you that how can you tell me the importance of God and I can handle life with my mind, I don't require the help of God, how will you reply? Simple. You ask him, what is the cure of AIDS? Can he handle Pardon me? Can he handle what is the cure of AIDS? What is the cure of AIDS? Can he handle the atheist? Pardon me? What is the cure of AIDS? You know AIDS, A-I-D-S. AIDS, oh yes. It's a disease. Yes, it's a disease. It is like you telling me when I go to a forest and I want to eat fruits. I know some are poisonous, some are not poisonous. As an intelligent man, I will ask the person who knows the forest well, which fruit is poisonous, right or wrong? If I try and eat, very shortly I will poison myself and die, right or wrong? So intelligent person always ask the person who knows, right or wrong? Right. If when your atheist friend gets sick, does he go to a doctor or not? Why does he go? Why are you going to a doctor? You know everything, don't go to a doctor. Ask him, why do you go to a doctor? Why are you going to school? Which school you went to? I went to school XYZ. Why? You know everything. Why did you go to school? Ask him. Huh? Yes, I will. <laughs> now, when you go to school, the teacher teaches you, God is the best to teach. When you get sick, you go to a doctor. God is the best doctor in the world. He's the best teacher in the world. He's the all-knowing. He's the all-wise. He's the shafi. He's the one to cure. When he tells you why you go to doctor, because my God tells me to go to doctor. First of all, is the crane going to I'm going to a doctor. Why do you go to doctor? Ask him. Simple. Quran. If you read the Quran with translation, all the answers are here. Very easy. Very simple. No one can take you for a ride. If you read the Quran with translation in the language you understand the best, whether it be Malay, whether it be English, whether it be Urdu, read it. Believe me, you'll get all the answers. This Quran is the solution to the problems of humanity. Many a time when someone asks you the question, you get stumped. So you said, because he's our creator. You ask him a question, when you get a new gadget, do you have equipment guide or not? I have. More complicated the machine, the more requirement of a guide, right or wrong? Right. If you allow me to call the human being a machine, it is the most complicated machine in the world, right or wrong? Don't you think it requires a guide? Doesn't it require instruction manual? Does it require or not? Yes. Which is the instruction manual? Quran. This is the instruction manual written by the creator of the human beings, Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir.